Please subscribe to this YouTube channel Mentor Talk Can Do Press Bell Button for Notifications. Well, in the last lecture, I gave you introduction of public speaking. And now let me give you some preparatory techniques. And then in the next video lecture, we will proceed with the actual public speaking skills on the day of the event. So to say, what are the preparatory methods or in other words, what homework and, and groundwork does it take to prepare for a successful public speaking? Let's discuss that. Firstly, appraisal of audience in advance. Always remember that your audience is your master and not the other way around. You may be on the stage or dais or, or at the podium addressing the audience, but that does not make them your, them your subjects. Remember, they are the cause and you are the effect. You are there because of them. Thus, you need to understand the composition of the audience well in advance. This you can understand from the organizers or in whatever way. Or maybe that you already know many or most of the, the audience, whether personally or professionally. The contents of your talk, speech or address should be prepared in a way that the same harmonizes and blends with the audience. You must make your talk and speech comprehensible and the one which which that audience is looking forward to hearing. There should be no mismatch between the two. For instance, in a technical group, you cannot afford to be casual and general with your contents. It will be too gullible on your part and naive as well. Conversely, to a broad public audience, you cannot be too technical and scholastic. You must Bring yourself to their level of understanding and speak as if you are holding their hands. So this is more like, I would say, a due diligence stage in public speaking, knowing your audience in advance, in absentia as well. Secondly, prepare, practice and review. Never take your skills or confidence for granted. The most convinced and confident are the ones who fall the most. Overconfidence and a casual approach while you know, preparing the subject matter and substance for a public speaking event can be totally fatal. You must not go ahead with half-cooked knowledge and mediocre effort. You must follow, you know, as I said, three-tier mechanism in public speaking groundwork. Prepare your talk or speech with proper and thorough research and illustrations. Then practice comprehensively through a note sheet or PowerPoint and then review it. Thirdly, by audio video recording your practice. You will be able to notice the flaws, if any, in, in your practice recordings. And more importantly, you will diligently time your talk or speech you know appropriately you will know where to start and where to end one of the key factors of successful public speaking is adherence is adherence to allocated timelines thirdly understanding the format of the event in advance i have in my experience witnessed and spoken at almost all formats of events you know there are events which are theater or audit auditorium style some are banquet style and then, you know, there are classroom and round table formats as well. Uh, there are events w w where you speak from a, you know, fixed podium or, or a dais or table uh, from an elevated, you know, stage or sometimes right from a non elevated platform. So while speaking, you could be, you know, standing or sitting. Uh, you could be speaking on a standing microphone or, or through a caller mic or a handheld microphone. You need to rehearse accordingly. And then more importantly, you need to be clear whether you would like to speak extempo. By, by, by this, I do not mean 
impromptu or unrehearsed speech. But what I mean is that will you be speaking without reading from the detailed paper, printed article or, 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 or paper, let's say. The successful public speaking invariably assumes a public speaker, uh, you know, speaking and looking at the audience at the same time. This creates and sets a tone of faith, trust, confidence amongst the audience as to the speaker and what he is delivering and, you know, speaking about. Audience will relate more to the speaker who is speaking as if he or she is in a conversation with the audience. While speaking without reading does not mean that, you know, you cannot take aid or assistance of some bullet points or, or broad outline, which you may have jotted down uh, on some pocket note slips or, or a writing pad or something. You could also read some quotes or, you know, written portions in between your talk and speech, which you think are truly relevant and should be read in verbatim and not, you know, uh, sort of extempore. Further, many technical and professional audiences like PowerPoint presentations, PowerPoint presentations. That's important. While public speaking, you know, many audience want uh, the speaker to put up PowerPoint presentations. It helps them in comprehending and grasping information and knowledge in much, much better way. So if you are addressing any such gathering or event, you know, you, you, you need to formulate a clean and uncomplicated PowerPoint presentation. Do not clutter it up with too much of texts and or, or charts or diagrams or graphics. Keep it simple and then try to elucidate, explain those points given in the PowerPoint. Well, this ends the second lecture. In the next video lecture, which is the third one, I will be talking about actual successful public speaking on the day of the event. So see you in the next lecture. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel Mentor Talk and do press bell button for notifications.